Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this video, I will show you the solutions to the physics questions of paper 2 of JE Advanced 2015. I will solve the problems as they appear in code 1. Let's look at the next question. So we are given a slab. This total length is L. This total width is W. This is D. This is the direction of current. This is the X axis. Vertically upwards is the Y axis. And this is the Z axis. We have a magnetic field in the upward direction. I is along this direction. So I cross B. That, Or you can think of it as Q into V cross B will be towards the Z direction. So on uh, every positive particle that is proton, there will be a force in this direction. And they will be pushed in this direction. Right. So we need to find out the potential difference between these two. So first of all, let's calculate the force on a particle here. We know that the current density is equal to N E times V D drift velocity. That means the current is N E times the area of cross section. This is the current. So this is the area of cross section W D. So W D times V D. That means V D, the drift velocity is I by N E W D. We want E times V cross B. Right, that is the force on this. So that will be I B by N E W D by N W D because you want E times V cross B. This is the force on a proton due to the magnetic field. If the potential difference between these two is V, in that case, that will also apply an electric field in this direction. The electric field will be V by W and the force will be E into V by W. W W cancel. So this gives me my equation V is equal to I B by N E D. Now this is the equation with which I can solve both the next questions. Question number 70. If W W doesn't even matter. So W1 is equal to W2 or 2 W2 doesn't matter. If D1 is equal to D2, then V1 will be equal to V2 because all four other things are same. And if D1 is twice of D2, then V1 will be half of V2. So the answer to question number 17 will be A and D. Question number 18 can also be solved from this. In this case, B and N are changing. So if B1 is equal to B2 and N1 is twice of N2, then V1 will be half of V2. If B1 is twice of B2 and N1 is equal to N2, then V1 will be twice of V2. So the answer to the second one will be, or the answer to question 18 will be A and C. Both of them come from this particular topic. Thank you.